Right now, the city of Atlanta is in the midst of a busy and star studded weekend. The Hawks hosting the Celtics for game six tonight. Tomorrow night, both Janet Jackson and Taylor Swift hit the stages at State Farm Arena and Mercedes Benz Stadium. Thousands of people are flocking to our city right now with planners saying that this will be the biggest weekend in the A since before the pandemic. We have team coverage for you tonight. Our Reggie Chapman at State Farm Arena ahead of the Hawks win or go home game. Paula Soro and Quash Clark have all of your concert details, but we're going to begin with our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb. And Chris, you're tracking some dry air that's moving in after the rain. Yeah, thank goodness. You know, we had a really soggy, wet day out there today, and now we're watching the back edge of this main rain shield that has pushed well off to the east, and we are in a drying out process right now. Now, we still have some clouds around. We still may have a little bit of mist and drizzle this evening and overnight, but nothing like the showers that we had that rolled through the city a little bit earlier. We even had some thunder and lightning in some of these over on the east side just uh, in the middle of the afternoon. But now you can see how that's moving away and we will dry out a little bit more. Now the clouds are going to be stubborn to break up, but we do think we'll see more sunshine breaking through during the day tomorrow. Strong storms though down in South Georgia along the Florida Panhandle. That's actually helping us here by blocking some of that moisture from moving back up into our area. So here's what we're going to be watching out there right now. You see at Hartsfield Jackson, uh, the runway is actually looking pretty dry right now and the clouds kind of stubborn with us though. We have taken out the, the storm prediction center has taken out that level one risk that we were telling you about earlier today that was over West and South Georgia. So we're not concerned about severe storms here over the next uh, 12 hours. Temperatures don't change much at all. We're going to be pretty much holding there in the lower 60s and just mainly cloudy skies of very low risk for just a few raindrops around. Stay with us. We will have more dry hours tomorrow, but the rain chance doesn't totally go away. We'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. All right, keep those umbrellas handy. Well, tomorrow night, both Miss Janet Jackson and Taylor Swift take the stage at neighboring venues, meaning there's going to be a lot of folks downtown. And that's where we find Paula Ciro. She is live tonight with everything fans need to know ahead of the shows. And Paula, I have to ask you, will you be going to either of these shows? I wish, I wish, Faith. I we should all come down here together, but I know it's too late to find tickets, but you know what? It is the first time ever that the Benz is having a three day show. All three, of course, Taylor Swift shows sold out. So as she takes the stage Friday. Well, Miss Jackson will be just down the block at State Farm Arena, where in just a few hours, the Hawks are expected to play game six tonight. Well, there are a couple of things I'm sure you may want to avoid ticket scams, but also the traffic. Swifties, are you ready for it? Uh, this show has been sold out for quite some time. 180,000 of you are expected at the Benz through the weekend. To make it the best day, here's what you should know. Parking is sold out, so Trina Smith with Mercedes-Benz recommends using Marta or Rideshare. And once you're inside, the girls are the lucky ones. Many of the men's restrooms will be converted to women's restrooms. Um, when we help had Taylor here in 2019, we do what we call a restroom conversion. So because we know our demographics are going to be about 80% female. And for those who have not secured a ticket yet, a buyer beware. Jeff Wolf with USAA Bank knows ticket scammers all too well. He says only buy tickets at reputable ticket sellers. If the price is too good to be true, then it is, and recommends reading the terms and conditions of the payment methods you're using. The same goes with parking tickets, which are all sold out. I mean, we definitely see a lot more kind of use of social media to learn about their victims. Um, and that's a, a method that fraudsters will use to try and build comfort or familiarity uh, and kind of get their victims to feel more safe as they, they make that transaction. Wolf says to not be fearless, avoid buying on social media, but if you are, see how recently their account was made. And if you're sending funds on PayPal, always send them as goods and services, which covers you under PayPal's purchase protection feature. You know, I would love to be able to say there's a narrow uh, band of ages that are really impacted, but the reality is lots of different people from, from lots of different backgrounds and walks of life uh, can fall for these scams. Now coming up at six, if you plan on Ubering down here, I've got tips to make sure that you don't get overcharged. Now, if you're not coming to the concerts and you're trying to avoid all the traffic around here, well, we've got the perfect person for you. Atlanta's traffic expert Crash Clark is here and has you covered. What's in our favor? We've hosted Super Bowls, SEC championships. We even hosted the Olympics. 
this could be bigger. Here's the impact. If you're not taking MARTA, which I highly recommend, the Connector South, those delays are going to begin. They're saying by 3, I'm saying by 1 or 2 o'clock. Trust me on this one. Your main exits, William Street, North Avenue, Cortland, they will become packed. But the real nightmare comes if you drive and hit the surface streets. Ivan Allen, Peachtree, Cortland, Mitchell, MLK, Centennial Olympic Park Drive, not going to be going anywhere. It is the Friday night frenzy. It's big. We've never seen anything like it, so do yourself a favor. Pack your patience, and if not, well, just shake it off. Back to you guys. Ha, shake, shake, shake it off. Okay, Atlanta is rolling out the red carpet for Taylor Swift this weekend in celebration of her three sold-out shows, a billboard outside Mercedes-Benz, dubbing the city a tail, as she is the only artist to sell out three nights in a row at the Benz. That first show is tomorrow night. Before the Grammy winning singers take to the stages, it is win or go home for the Atlanta Hawks tonight. Game six against the Celtics will tip off just over three hours from now. Our Reggie Chapman is live for us this evening inside State Farm Arena. Hey, Reggie. What's up, guys? Welcome on into State Farm Arena ahead of what is really, truly the calm before the storm. But right as you, you guys actually tossed me, they were just going through some of the intro music. They've been playing the music. They've been messing with the lights. This is truly going to be an incredible experience for game six between these Hawks and the Boston Celtics. And it's really, truly a game that not a lot of people expected to see, considering the last time the Hawks were on this floor, they lost in game four. But after going on the road, and a masterclass performance, Trey Young, they won in game five to bring it back here for a game six. The team back on the floor this morning for shoot around as they prepare for another chance to save their season. Still down three to two in this series, and they're hoping that the fans that make it inside of State Farm Arena tonight help them push them to a win. Our fans have been unbelievable, you know, and, and I can anticipate, the, or I can, I think it's easy to anticipate what it'll be like. We even talked about it as a team. We probably like, we were like, that's probably the loudest we heard, you know, State Farm in a while. So hopefully that bring that same energy tonight because it's going to be much needed. You know, we had some chance for the, you know what I'm saying, of the squad again, but, you know, our, our ATL fans are showing up and showing out. I, I just hope, we, hopefully we see less green in there tonight. A little bit of a challenge from John Collins. He wants the fans to be loud, and the fans that do make it inside here will all get this towel. Really good one, honestly. It's uh, be one of the situations with a lot of twisting and turning and a lot of crowd noise. The team hoping that, like I said, will push them to a win. Tip-off is set for 8.30 tonight. Uh, a little bit more on this match coming up at 6 p.m. Certainly a fun atmosphere tonight, and hopefully a win, Reggie. Thank you so much. Well, with everything that is going on over the next few days, there is a lot to know whether you're going to any of these events or even if you just live or work near downtown Atlanta, text the word events to that number you see on your screen 404 885 7600. We'll send you a link to a guide with everything you need to know.